Hi there, today we're going to be doing a pizza with different ingredients. And so this is going to be a collage and we're concentrating on texture. So if you don't have different colors of construction paper, you can just use any piece of paper and color it with some crayons or you could cut out of old magazines and, and just find various colors that will fit some of the things that you wanna put on your pizza. So I'm just gonna demonstrate with um, the construction paper, but we're going to try to do different ingredients. So think about colors of some of the things that you like on your pizza. So let's say you did onion and we could just cut out little pieces, strips for the onion. Um, find something black and do some olives. If you like Canadian bacon, you cut out some circles, kind of pink color for the ham. Um, green, you could do peppers. Um, here's my favorite, mushrooms. So I found a brown paper. And cut out little mushrooms. And some people like pineapple on their piece. I don't have a yellow paper, but some little pineapple slices or maybe some purple onion and then of course cheese. So um, finding some type of uh, cream or or light yellow to do to, to, to the cheese. And so the cheese I've got cut into little strips. And so we're doing um, texture for this lesson. So we're doing actual texture. Some of the lessons I'm doing with other grade levels um, involve implied texture. So after you get some of your things cut, then you're going to add on, and I'm just going to do this a simple way and just kind of put the glue stick real thick on most of this. And I'm going to take the cheese and I'm gonna crunch it up just a little bit so we get some good texture there and kind of spread that out. See, I've got quite a bit more here. And just cover it as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then once we get this filled up a little bit, and remember you're gonna be putting on a lot of other things so it doesn't have to be quite as solid as you would have a real pizza with cheese. Okay. Just do a couple more. And then I'm gonna layer mine from biggest to smallest so my Canadian bacon will be my next big thing. Okay, so cutting out circles or maybe even triangles for Canadian bacon. And I forgot pepperoni, didn't I? So I've got some, some little red circles if, if we wanna do pepperoni. And we can do some overlapping here to fill the space. Okay, one more. And then I'm going to do my mushrooms. I have three of those. And the longest thing, to, the hardest thing to do is the, the cutting part takes a little bit more time, but actually putting them on does not take very much time at all. Just think about spacing, kind of spread things out. Do some overlapping. This is kind of making me hungry for some pizza. I 
know what my kids are getting for dinner tonight. Okay, let's see, what am I missing? Oh, maybe some olives. Okay, and then you can see I've got lots of great textures on here, lots of color changes. Makes it look nice and fun. And let's see, I'll put a couple white onions on there. Mmm, supreme pizza. Oh, pineapple. Not my favorite, but might be fun to add. Okay. All right. And there you go. Our textured pizza.